Okay, here we are again. Um, let's look at another topic that's coming up as one of our top topics. And this is also found in the reasoning pie slice, right? Um, this one right here. And that is called finding counterexamples to conjectures. So I have these pulled up on here. And let's, uh, let's check this out here. So let's go to problem number four. All right, now a conjecture is basically just um, making a kind of assumption or a statement about something that based upon what you've seen so far. And uh, some conjectures are better than others. And so one of the ways you can prove whether or not a conjecture is true is by finding something called a counterexample. And a counterexample is simply, um, it's, it's a situation that proves that the conjecture um, isn't true for all cases, right? And a conjecture is usually like a general sweeping statement. And if you can find one example that doesn't fall within what that statement is saying, then it's not true. So that's why people look for counterexamples with things. And so what you're going to do in this topic is basically read these statements and then think to yourself, okay, what might be the case for this where this is not true? So let's, let's just uh, go through and look at this. All right, so we've got letter A. It says, if the measures of angle P, angle Q, and angle R sum up to 180 degrees, then all of the angles must be acute. And obviously, um, they're, um, you know, usually we, we talk about that a lot with triangles, right? But then all the angles must be acute. So the thing is, um, that certainly could be the case where they were all acute. They could, like, for example, they could all be 60 degrees. But we also know that there's lots of situations with triangles, for example, where when you have an obtuse triangle, all the angles still add up to 180 degrees. It's just that you have one obtuse angle. So let's uh, let's try that out. So let's let's go big. Let's say, well, if we have a 120 degree angle on one of them, um, then that leaves you 60 degrees, which means we could, you know, make this one 25 and. Uh, you know, make this one 35 degrees, right? So I suppose if I type it in right, that'd be better. So 25 plus 35 is 60, 60 plus 120 is 180. All right, letter B, if angle one and angle two are supplementary angles, so that means that they add up to 180 degrees, it's usually the case and you have a line, then one of them must be obtuse. Well, that's certainly more often than not, and most of the time is going to be the case. However, there is one case, there is one perfect case where this is false. And that is if they are both right angles. And if they're both right angles, it exactly adds up to 180 degrees and they're both exactly the same, right? So 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Okay, so this is not... Um, this is most certainly going to be true most of the time, but not always. So it's not a law by any means. Letter C, if the area of a rectangle is 36, then the length is six and the width is six. So they're saying, can you find a counterexample where you're gonna have a rectangle and your area is gonna be 36, but it's not gonna be a six by six, right? And yeah, there's tons of them. You could do 12 and three. Or you could do nine and four. You could even go into fractions or decimals and come up with something, right? There's, there's probably a, a, a large number of options you have available to you for that. So this is definitely a, a, an easier case of it. And then this last one, if the measure of angle ABD is 30 degrees and point C is in the interior of that, so there's saying, that if we split this up into two angles, then the measure of one of the angles is 18 degrees and the other one is 12 degrees. And that's, you know, that's just one case. You could, you could have a, C could be on the interior and you could have one angle that's one degree and you could have one angle that's 29 degrees. You could have an angle that's five degrees and have another one that's 25 degrees. So we're just looking for 
two numbers that add up to 30 that aren't 12 and 18. And we've got lots of options. We've got infinite options actually on that. So um, with these, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're just looking for different options to these to prove that while these might be highly likely, highly probable, they are not necessarily 100% always the case. So let's take a look. Let's do another one just to make sure we kind of understand what's going on. I want to just, hopefully they, oh good, we do have a perimeter one on here. All right, letter A. If the length of AC is 26 and point B lies on AC, so think about, visualize that you have a line, AC, and then B is going to be between A and C, then they're saying the segment lengths that add up to AC, which is your 26, are 16 and 10. And again, this is like that angle one we just did. They could be any two numbers that add up to 26. So we could say, no, it could be 1 and 25, right? It could be, you know, it could be 3.5 and 22.5. There's, there's just so many options we could have. Letter B, if the perimeter of a rectangle is 32, then the length is 8 and the width is 8. And this is, uh, this is one case... Um, of the perimeter, right? Because you go, you go, you add your, uh, you can add your two sides together and then just um, multiply it by two, right? And then that gives you your perimeter. Um, so let's work backwards. Let's backwards engineer this and let's divide 32 by two and we get 16. So basically any combination of numbers that add up to 16 will work for this. So we could do, um, we could do four and 12, right? So four plus 12 is 16, and then add another four, that's 20, plus another 12 is 32, and that gets you to where, where you are. And I guess I technically should write this as 12 and four, not four and 12, right? Because the length is usually longer than the width. Um, letter C, if angle one and angle two, angle two are supplementary angles, they add up to 180, then one of them must be acute. And again, we, we had this one earlier, right? And we know that no one case is where they are both right angles, right? In which case they're neither acute nor obtuse. Um, and letter D, if the measure of angle R, S, and T add up to 180, then one of the angles must be obtuse. And so this is kind of the opposite of what we did. Um, and no, we could, uh, we could definitely have a case where these are all... Um, where these are all acute angles, you know, if we go 70 degrees, and then let's say we have one that's 65 degrees, that's 135, and then we've got one more angle that's 45 degrees, right? So 135 plus 45 is 180. All of these are under 90 degrees, um, meaning that they're not, they're, uh, they're smaller than a right angle, which would make it acute. And uh, we should be good. So pretty much with these, um, there's a wide variety of answers you can provide. It's just the, the big thing is it's just making you um, really question your reasoning and also asking you, hey, how well do you know your perimeter and your area formulas and how well do you know what supplementary angles are and your segment addition and all that stuff that we've, we've been uh, hitting a little harder lately. And so these are really good problems to help with that. So. Good luck with these and uh, have fun.